Hello, so in this video we'll be seeing over the software called SmartLock. SmartLock is a software which is a licensed one and this software is used for managing file retention cap capabilities and also it protects a uh, data against a deletion or modification. So unknowingly a data may be deleted by a user. So that can be prevented using this particular smart lock. So smart lock can be put upon a directory, a directory level. And this smart lock will work uh, in a domain called warm. That's nothing but write once read many. So we'll see in detail about this particular software here. So in smart lock, this is a concept called retention period. So during that period, when you put a file inside a folder and you set a smart pe I mean a retention period for that particular folder, till that particular retention period is completed, you will not be able to do any modification to that particular file inside the directory. So that is called commitment to warm. So write once, read many. So you can only write once and only can read many times. You will not be able to do any um, edit modification to that particular file until the retention period is completed. So this retention period is fixed by the administrator according to the environment standards. So the retention period may be 3 years, 4 years, 5 years according to the administrator who sets that. So the smart law compliance is will, uh, will go with the standards of SEC rule 17A bar 4 F dimension according to the US government and it has a system integrity and a retention date integrity as well. So um, let's see more about this particular software. So there are usually in Isilon cluster there are two types. One is a standard, it's a normal cluster, the other one is a compliance mode cluster. So this compliance mode cluster is completely for this particular smart log uh, software. So when you go for a compliance mode cluster, all the folders inside that particular cluster are with the smart uh, smart log warm domain. So this particular compliance mode Isilon cluster will be used most widely in banking sector and hospital sector and very big organizations. So as there may be a rule in uh, some other countries like US, Canada where the patient's record has to be saved at least for minimum of five years. So during that period of time the data might be deleted unknowingly by any user. So to avoid that and to have a retention period so you, the, you, the user's data will be put inside this compliance mode cluster for a retention period of particular time. So while building a new cluster you will be asked whether this particular cluster is going to be built on a compliance mode or a standard mode. So during that time you can decide whether you can, you can go for a compliance mode cluster or a normal cluster. So the standard cluster can be converted to a compliance mode cluster but the compliance mode cluster once done cannot be reverted back to a standard Isilon cluster. And the next part is a smart log directory. So the normal standard directory is nothing but a non-warm directory which is just open and this does not have any smart lock on that. And the enterprise smart lock are nothing but the uh, smart lock that is applied on a standard cluster. And compliance smart lock are nothing but a smart lock that is applied on a compliance mode cluster. So there are few things differs in standard and smart lock directory and a compliance mode smart lock directory. In standard mode with the enterprise version, you will have both the privileged delete enabled and the privileged delete permanently disabled. So what is this privileged delete? Once the file is put into a warm state, the user will not be able to edit the file. And in this enterprise smart lock directories, there is an option called privileged delete. Only the administrators can use that to delete the file. So before the retention period, the user will be able to only delete it, but they will not be able to edit it. 
and this particular option can only be used by the administrators and this is enabled in only the enterprise smart lock directories and we can also permanently disable there are both options available whereas when it comes to compliance mode smart lock directories this privilege delete is completely disabled and you not have any option to enable that and this particular compliance mode directory uses the compliance clock that is running separately uh, so this will not uh, this is not the same clock that is running generally so this is compliance clock that will run separately so this retention period will set to the compliance clock which is running on the cluster so what is the retention in smart lock so this retention period can be set by an administrator and so this when you when there is a file that is put into a smart lock directory and it has a 24 hours of commit time so you can you can like the 24 hours is default but you can set the commit time so commit time is nothing but the time between the uh, the commit of warm state and a non warm state so let's say you have a smart lock directory and you put a file inside the smart lock directory so this commit period is 24 hours so between this 24 hours you can delete or edit you do any modification to that particular file so once the commit period is completed the 24 hours is completed the file gets to a warm state and until the retention period is completed you will not be able to edit it so that is called the commit period so this commit period also will be set by an administrator so the retention clock so the normal system clock and the uh, um, compliance clock this compliance clock will run on the compliance mode cluster and this can be set only one time so once this is set the, the clock will start running and the normal clock is the system clock which is on the standard cluster time clock so here is the one the committing files to warm as there are two options like manual commit and auto commit so auto commit is the one that i told so you can set a time period so within that time period the file gets to a, a commit state that is like warm state and so you can do a manual commit as well you can put a file and if you want to do do i mean you want, if you want to commit the file as soon as possible then you can go for a manual commit and commit it once you uh, put the file inside the directory and if you want to wait for the auto commit period then you go for this auto commit period and set the auto commit period for that particular directory so here is the commit process the two commit process the auto commit on read and warm queue job so there is a warm queue job that will be running and so this job will be running uh, based upon the schedule or uh, the manual so once this job is run so it will find for the uh, files that is there is pass commit period and it will put into the warm state so this auto commit is auto commit on read so any file uh, uh, iops operation formed after the uh, auto commit period but prior to the cube job I mean the prior to this particular warm queue job runs so it will be auto committed before the warm queue job run and when the file is touched the file passed auto commit period committed to warm so when you again touch the file the files the auto commit period is committed to warm state so that is all about the uh, smart lock so we'll be seeing uh, few practicals on the smart clock in the next session